Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create timelines, how you can add multiple timelines to your project and display them, and how you can copy those timelines and send them into PowerPoint, for example, or attach them to an email. So first of all, on the screen, we've got a simple project plan, develop strategy, 105 days, and there it is on the Gantt chart. Now, if I go down to the timeline view, there is the timeline. So it's a default timeline. You have this tab timeline format, which appears once you go into there. And what you can do now is format this. So in the middle, you've got this insert group. So timeline bar, existing tasks, new task if you want to create a new task, and then how you want them displayed, call out and milestone. Um, tasks. So if I click on uh, existing tasks, that will show you all of these. These are the tasks from the Gantt chart. If I click on each one of these, just for now, the whole timeline is filled up. Now, you can change the colours, as you can see there. I've changed the colours on some of these, just to separate them out so they look different. You don't need to do this, but um, it does make it stand out a little better. Like so. So those are the, the four main tasks, and that's the project. Now you've got an option here to add an extra timeline. So I'm just going to do that, and it comes out exactly the same as the one above. But this time, I'm going to select a date range and change that date range to be from the um, 11th of April to the 23rd or 20, 30th of May, say. So 11th of April... to the 30th of May. We'll go for that one. Okay, so and then that fits there. And then what you can do is you can just move that onto there and sit that into the timeline however you want it to be. Now, it's snapping up and down at the minute because I've got this clicked. If I take that off, it'll go in there. That's basic, basically what that does. And you've got that option there or that option. So. I like it like this personally, and I'm just going to do another timeline to bring this down onto that one. So again, if I click onto this timeline, make this active, date range. So I'll go for the 1st of June to the 1st of August. 1st of June to the 1st of August. Right. Like so. I better go to the 8th of August and then click OK. And then we get this timeline reacting to that. Now, if I click undo that one, click undo, rather than doing that, and then I've lost these, I need to do another time bar. And then I'll do it on there. So 1st of August, uh, 1st of June, should I say, and then 8th of August, I said, didn't I? 8th of August, OK, and then you can just drag that onto there, and you've got your three separate timelines. Now, if you want, you can go back to your Gantt chart and go view and tick timeline on. I tend to have that off because obviously look how much space that's taken up there now. It's taken up quite a bit of space, so that would normally be off if you've got your Gantt chart on unless you've got a huge screen. But what you've got you've got the ability to add things in this view, so I could pull some of these off uh, if I don't want them, even in this view. I've still got that timeline format. I'll just do undo, control Z. So all everything I did, I could have done in this view if I'd have ticked it on. So to tick that on, I could, have, I could have still done all of the same sort of things, but obviously I'm gonna take this off because now I've got multiple timelines, I need to go back to this and work it from there. Now what you can do is you can copy this timeline and send it for presentation. So that's what I will do. So I've copied that and then what you can do is post that into, into a PowerPoint slide. I'll just need to get into PowerPoint and then just do a new one and bring that over. So I've got a, a slide there, paste that on, 
comes in just get change the layout so this is a blank slide and that's what it comes in as a timeline it's a bit squashed up there you can see that so you'd have to edit this a little bit or change change that how that is sitting in the project timeline so i'll close that one down don't want to save that back to this now if you want to get rid of anything you can just either drag it off change the labels or delete it or remove it so if i click on this for example remove remove or i could have clicked on the timeline and press delete and delete which is obviously quicker and then you're just putting everything back onto the the default timeline and you've just got one timeline and again if you go back to your gantt chart and click on view that now is not as intrusive but it's quite cluttered um, I'm not sure whether I like that or not you can make that bigger or smaller take that off view off so basically that's just a quick little video of how timelines work and what you can do with the timelines you've got all different formatting options as I said label options you can do text lines to make them thinner so that was three lines it was on if I make them it was on three lines so it's quite a space big space down now it's just one line that looks better on the top actually if I go back to view and tick that on that's not as intrusive just get a little bit more space there so you can see everything so that's it timelines in project hopefully that was of use to you thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one